Every year, the Holy Spirit Church of Margam witnesses the magic of natural spectacle, the vernal equinox. At the sunset on March 20 and September 23rd, the beams of sunlight from the church's ocular windows illuminate the statues of Jesus and the Virgin Mary on the main altar of the church. But this marvel is due to the Baroque architecture of the church, as it is promoted by colonial sympathizers. For this place had some forgotten Indic past. What is the real story behind the equinox of the Holy Spirit? No doubt, the phenomena is due to an architectural marvel. But who were the real brain behind this? We will today analyze this phenomena's significance in our Indian culture. First of all, we have to see what the equinox and the scientific reason behind this. Equinoxes correspond to the two days of a year, when the day and night are of equal duration. On these days, the sun rises exactly east and sets exactly due west. The equinoxes now fall roughly on March 21st and September 22nd. Because of this, visual spectacle can be seen. Such archaeoastronomical heritage is very common in ancient Indian temples. One of the prominent temples where visual spectacle can be seen is Sri Padmanabh Swami Temple in Thiruvananthapuram. To accomplish visual spectacle on the days of equinox, the structure had to be constructed at right angles to the exact east-west line, it requiring precision engineering. Defining the precise east-west direction is not an easy task. Much earlier to the development of compasses, there were simple geometrical techniques widely used to establish the cardinal directions. The earliest records on this can be found in the ancient Indian text called Sulabha Sutra. Katyayana Sulabha Sutra explains a simple set of observations that can be done on any given day to establish the east-west line. Same Shanku Nikhaya Shanku Sammitaya Rajva Mandalam Parilikya Yatra Lekayoho Shanku Grachaya Nipatati Tatra Shanku Nihanti Saprachi Katyayana Sulabha Sutra 12 Which means fix a stick on a ground Draw a circle with a string measured by the stick Fix nails at points on the line On the circumference of the circle Where the shadow of the tip of the stick falls At two different times of the day The line joining the two points forms the east-west line This method is now famously known globally as the no moon circle method or the Indian circle method. There is a huge possibility that this method was used to build the structures which existed in the place of present day Holy Spirit Church. As Rui Gomis Pereira in his book Goa Hindu Temples and Deities mentions that the Church of the Holy Spirit stands on the site of Magji Damodar. Sanre or Surya Kiran was a lot of significance in Hindu rituals. In temples of Goa, Surya Kiran Abhishek is common ritual where Vigraha is been exposed to Surya Kiran. Dr. Nandakumar Kamath in his article Archaeoastronomical Heritage of Goa claims about the existence of an ancient Surya temple in Madgao. And Madgao was the center of Surya worship during the pre-Portuguese times. He also mentioned about the fragment of the beautiful 11th century Surya Narayana Murti found at Madagam. The Murti is in the custody of the Goa Archaeological Museum. This clearly shows existence of Surya within the grand temple complex of Sri Damodar, which was destroyed by the Portuguese with other temples of Madagam. A comprehensive archaeological study of the Holy Spirit Church will throw more light on this. Moreover, we can say credit this archaeoastronomical heritage to the ancient Indian artists and mathematicians and not to some European pirates. Let's stop the over-glorification of colonial rule and decolonize our minds.